What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Epic Nine Gaming Channel and today we are here in Ravine City and today we're going to be doing some very cool things. Finishing up the Guardian Farm and starting up some new farms and a new area in Ravine City. So let's see our plans for today. So today's plans are a build a bigger super smelter with a build around it, uh, finish the Guardian Farm and then also do a squid farm so we're gonna go from bottom to uh we're gonna start at the squid farm and then go up to the garden farm and then finish with a uh super smelter and then the build of course so let's get onto that so we're gonna build the squid farm so let's get into that time lapse of building the squid farm <laughs> And another project complete so we got our first project completed here at the squid farm it's a very simple design that i looked up on the internet um so yeah if you guys want to go check that video out i may leave it in the description or at least the title of the of the video i should be able if i remember i should put the um the uh, links to the videos of the farms i built today the only one i don't have a link for would be the guardian farm because that one was kind of a my own design i i didn't really look up i knew the basic premise for the guardian farm that uh that i'm gonna build it's pretty uh simple uh but it, it's it's one of those mechanics where if you know the mechanics already you can basically create it yourself but this one is the same thing you could also create your scene but i wanted to look up a design so I found this design and it works perfectly fine. You can AFK here and it will give you tons and tons of ink sacks for black dye. And the reason why we need tons and tons of ink sacks is because we're going to need a lot of dark prismarine in the future. So that's going to be a very good source of it. So yeah, it, as you see, it is working very, very fine. Uh, these can be expanded, of course, uh, you know, all throughout the river. Uh, but I think this is uh, good enough for a single player world. So yeah, this is the area it's in. I had to, um, what's it called again? Get all the, um, all the rivers dried up in this area. So the other squids would not, uh, spawn. So we basically cleared out all this. So this is where the mob farm is and that's where the squid farm is. So now we're going to move on to our next project, the guardian farm. So Let's jump into that time lapse of finishing the Guardian Farm.
the guardian farm uh farm itself has been completed and we also started a little bit of the decoration here at the guardian farm and this is actually just the beginning of what this project is going to be because the guardian uh guardian farm itself is finished we are gonna make this area into an area where a lot of the mega farms are going to be so there's going to be like a very big building here and uh later on we will reveal what that is going to be it's something that i've been working on in a creative world so hopefully uh, it's going to be received very well because i mean it's it's tied to something that uh i really like and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people like as well so Hopefully, uh, once we once we get the uh, materials and stuff for that, we can start that project. But for right now, what um, what I'm gonna do? I found this good stopping point uh, where I used enough materials that I had on hand to build this area here. Um, but we are gonna uh, extend this area to where the the ground floor of the main building on top is gonna be. So hopefully, yeah, that's gonna be super cool and. Yeah, let's uh let's see how this guardian farm works. So the guardian farm works very simply. So they spawn in this big tank. They fall through the uh the the what's it called again the signs. They fall into this funnel area. Get okay, funneled up and then drop down onto this block. And just in case they do survive, these uh this uh what's it, this magma blob it kills them. And then we have a filter system down here that um that separates the. Yeah, the prismarine shards and the crystals, and then over here we have a bunch of extra stuff that, yeah, we need to also create a uh, destroying item system over here. So, uh, because all this stuff is backed up like a lot, so let's get rid of a lot of this uh, cod because we do not want all this cod here. Yeah, this might cause a little bit of lag, but that's okay. They'll despawn eventually. Or we can also just burn it with some lava or a... Where is... There's a flint and steel right there. So yeah, we can just burn it like that. And have it all burn. And now we have some space for the cod. Uh, so th this system doesn't really get backed up. Even though it is uh, technically a bit backed up. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the system. Or uh, the, the garden farm in a nutshell. We also got a little bit of decoration, of course, and I mean, I'm really liking this uh, design. I think, I don't know if I, I think I've gone with this, like, dark prismarine, uh, blue, and uh, dark oak before, but now adding the um, the quartz into it makes it really pop. So, hopefully, uh, later on, we will get more of this uh, bottom part finished and then figure out what we're going to build on top and get more farms in here. So, yeah, guys, let's uh, move on to our final project and that's going to be the smeltery the super smelter and the super smelter build so let's get into that Alright guys, we are here in the smelting unit uh, uh, octagon area here in Ravine City. We have completed it as you saw in the time lapse. So now we're going to move on to, uh, what's it called again, smelting. Actually testing it fully out with a whole box of uh, nether quartz blocks. Or uh, yeah, quartz blocks. So I'm going to transform all this stuff into... 
I'm going to make it all into the smooth variant because later on in a, like a project, we're going to be using this at the Guardian Farm. We're going to be using it. So uh, we definitely need to smell all this. So let's get it all into our inventory and let's uh, put it here into this uh, minecart chest so we can fill up everything up in here. We can do one entire inventory of uh, so one choker box of stuff uh and that will be good i mean actually we could let it like go and then fill it up again and keep letting it go the thing is that the fuel the fuel is going to be a, a tough thing we're going to have to figure out basically getting a better fuel source so as you see they all light up and they're all getting uh i think each time it goes around it puts one in there so so all of these have like two, some have three already with like one second one over here, three. So, and then we go here. Uh, once some of them uh, get full, or some of them go into this slot over here, the other mine cart goes under, comes back and then loads it. And this light will turn on when the uh, some of them are unloaded. So this should turn on here in a bit. And uh, yeah. So yeah, all the furnace are on. And what is this? Uh, this is not gonna come on. Is it? Not too sure. Maybe the my car got stuck or something. Uh, my car just uh, it, there was a block missing on the very end, and the and the hopper mine cart decided to you know s scoot off the track, and it wasn't on the track no more. So we fixed that, and uh, we completed the entire uh, shulker box of um, quartz blocks and turned it into this smooth uh, variant, which is going to be a very um, good block. I'm gonna, uh, well, one of the blocks I'm going to be using at the guardian farm, and then uh, a bigger project in the future. We're going to be using a lot of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be incredible to have, uh, you know, this machine and yeah, similar thing stuff a bit quicker than, uh, we did before. And yeah, I forgot that I need to light up this ledge here cause there is always, uh, skeletons and sometimes creepers falling out of the, these areas. So, uh, I'm going to light that up when we, uh, get to it because, we're also going to be uh, building kind of these uh, pillar-like structures, but here in Blackstone, and then transitioning them from the gray to the black. So we're going to do that here in a bit, and then we're going to move on to our next project. So uh, let's get into that. Right, guys, we are here at the Ravine City, of course, and we are going to close out our episode for today, and we finish uh, building the uh, the background over here, the front of the where the... um. The smelt, the super smelter is in the super smelter area. Uh, we, we may uh, do some other stuff in the areas that we did not do much in there, but uh, we pretty much finished all the projects that we wanted to do, and um, with, with the time I had, of course. And then, uh, yeah, so we got the squid farm done, and we got the guardian farm done. We we just need to work on the decorations of the squid farm and the guardian farm, but that's uh that's that's for another episode and the next uh next episode we're going to be doing something different hopefully we can get some more farms like the sheep farm and some other farms that that i'm not really thinking of right now nothing too big but nothing um nothing that's not going to be super cool and awesome so yeah we're going to focus maybe on the sheep farm next episode but yeah we have the furnace array we got the squid farm and the guardian farm but like always guys Thanks for watching and peace.